Margie and Ross. The owner of Wide Bay Seedlings and we grow plants for farmers to plant in districts all over Australia. The business started here in 2008. We focus particularly on, on warm tropical type crops like watermelons, rock melons, tomatoes, capsicums and we produce about 50 million plants a year and deliver to every mainland state in Australia. We started off basically a conversation one afternoon between a couple of people who decided that we should start it and, and the business grew far greater than we ever imagined it was going to in the first place. It grew at 25% a year for the first few years. Our biggest challenge has been keeping infrastructure up to the orders that we had for it and we're only just now getting to a point after seven years of being able to consolidate and start to look at alternative business opportunities outside the you know, current seedling business. The process actually begins with a farmer giving us an order for a certain number of plants to be delivered on a fixed day. We have to work out then when we should plant that. We make our own potting mix up, our own fertiliser mix, so we buy material in from overseas. It's basically sterile. We plant the thing and our aim is to have it ready on the due date, delivered to his farm when he requests it. So our growing times vary from, say, a zucchini in summertime that we're turning out of here in nine days to a capsicum in the middle of winter that might take 49 days. General average would be around about a month duration in the nursery. Obviously a lot less in summertime, longer in wintertime. Our whole basis of our business is to produce a product. Each seedling is the same as every other seedling and it's delivered on the right day in the customer specifications because the demands from supermarkets for our customers is that they produce an even line of product delivered on time and that's based on them giving us a target date to, to produce the seedling for. We work backwards from that to decide what day the seed has to be planted in order that that product's ready for delivery to the customer when they want it. As part of our business diversification we're, we're looking at other alternative things in the plant business. So, so currently we're, we're doing plants from tissue culture rather than the conventional seed system so that we do sugar cane and currently doing bananas and we're looking at moving into other crops other than what we really do. And as part of the move in the horticulture industry Australia-wide, we'd probably be looking at going further afield with business. So the challenge we had when we started up was that I said to my wife that I really wouldn't want to have a transport business, but that lasted a very short time. We realised that part of our business philosophy was to deliver a plant on time to a customer, and the only way we could do it was to have our own trucks. The basis of what we were doing was looking at as our business expanded and having to go further, we needed trucks that were comfortable to ride in, that our drivers could sleep in and we could go long distances. My first conversation with Ben from Highway 1 was to see if we could design a truck that would cart a light load with a lot of deck space and still be able to do that. So we didn't need the conventional bogey drive prime mover, we needed a single axle truck that had all the features and that's when we moved into MAN. To get a truck that fitted our specifications we had to go to a European truck because they were one of the trucks that allowed us to have a sleeper cab and allow us to custom build a truck because the spec that we were chasing was something that wasn't an off the shelf truck. So MAN allowed us to, to order a truck that had our specifications. Ben put a lot of work in for us for a start in designing the truck that we wanted which was something that's paid big dividends for us in, in fuel consumption and, and being able to cart the sort of loads that we had. And what we were looking for, because we are carting lights, loads, long distances, was a truck that would allow us to do that and use as little fuel as possible to do it. So from that point of view, we are very happy with the decision we made. When we started off on the journey with MAN, one of the things, the first truck that Ben specced up for us had an airbag front axle, so that we decided from a comfort point of view, both from our drivers, from our seedlings, we'd continue with that. And then as we've gone along, as we've ordered trucks, pretty much on average one a year, and had the trucks custom built, we've been able to tick the box for features that have come up and we've ticked the box for every safety feature we've been able to have because both from our driver's perspective and, and from the fleet perspective. Part of the reason for, for staying with Highway 1 is the ability to shop locally so it's really easy for us to, to get trucks serviced and it's also of, of greater interest to us going forward that we can give Highway 1 all of our servicing business and not have to do anything for any of our trailers or any of our trucking business, we can get it all done in-house because as our business gets bigger, I haven't got time to, to chase down that stuff and it's really comfortable to be able to get somebody else to sign off on it.